guys, how you doing? This is David Carter coming to you live from my home in Maryland, right on the outskirts of DC. About I'm about ten minutes, um, probably not even that far away from DC. But anyway, I want to talk about just being in the game. And so I went to the store today. I generally I generally don't even do this at all. So this is kind of random and rare. And I even. I like doing stuff that people don't generally do. So, uh, where do I want to start from? All right, I start from I, I had uh, went to sleep today, went to an awesome event um, for one of the federal governments. I'm not going to talk about the products and services that I seen today, but. It was a great event, a uh, wonderful time with the co-workers and stuff like that as well. You know, I do actually believe in a career and a business, but more so in a business because I prefer to have my time freedom, but I also believe in after anything besides career and business, I ask, I also believe in self growth, self-education. So it wasn't nothing in my scope or in my realm of my actual my actual working title position. But it was something to educate me along the way just in case somebody asks me or something. I'm I'm knowledgeable about the information and say, hey I did uh I know a little bit of something about that. Let me see if I could actually help you out. And that's about being in the game. So, came home, went to sleep. Um, went to sleep probably about like 4.30. And I woke up, I seen a, it said 9.02, 9.07. Somewhere around that time. And I'm like, I slept this long? So, anyway, I got up. You know, I kept hearing about... Um, Different things. I'm checking emails, doing different things. I see the lottery goes up again. And I, I used to be an advocate player of the lottery. I'm like, yeah, I can't wait until I leave this position or this career that I'm in. And I have the freedom that I have and that I need. So I got up, um, walked out the door, went to the store, and I picked up. Lottery tickets. I'm not going to show you the numbers because, I mean, you never know. But what what I'm trying to get to you or give you the value is you got to be in the game just to even play. And so you you can't be on the sideline. You can't sit on the bench. That's just like these earphones right here, right here, Dr. Dre's. They're high quality headphones, and it's versatility in an earphone. I don't necessarily have to have this actual mic right here. I have a, uh, I have a, uh, if you can actually see it, it's, it's actually wireless. I can actually take out the cord and do whatever I need to do. And I understand that when building a business, you're building personal development as well because you learn along the way of, what's right and what's not right. And so you got to be in the game in order to be able to play. So if you're not in the game, you can't play. So if you're sitting on the bench, so just think, just imagine this dollar right here, right? It's the bench. If you riding the bench, and a lot of people, a lot of people are just going to try to talk to you on the bench, and say, no, don't do it. I don't think you should do this. I don't think you should do that. But you're on the bench. You're not playing. So if you never played the game or you never was into it or you never even did anything about the game, you can't even talk about it. So a lot of times I don't even listen to people because of the simple fact that they don't know what they're talking about. They, they rode the bench. They didn't get in this one. It didn't work for them on this one. But guess what? You're not doing what I'm doing right now. You're not even striving. You don't have the vision. You don't have the passion. You don't have the motivation that I have 
they, they, they keep pushing forward. So you got to get in the game. Just like I got a call from my brother the other day. And he said, oh, what what is this, the plan to don't talk to me now? I bypass all that. That's negativity to me. You know, that's something that you don't even have to say to me. It's, hey, how you doing? What's up? How you been, little brother? You okay over there? None of that special stuff. I don't. I don't respond to stuff like that. And it's a it's a particular reason why I don't talk to certain people no more. It it, it truly is because if I only have positive people or attracting positive things in my life, I can't get nothing wrong with negative. And say if something negative happened, um. This this juice right here actually spills on the computer or anything. But guess what? That's something small. And I can say, oh, well, I'm grateful just because I woke up. I'm grateful just to be alive. And I can't really worry about the juice falling. I should have been more careful about the juice falling on the uh, laptop. But in actuality... You got to be careful of what's around you. Why, why would I even have the juice not closed tight without the top on when I know I'm working on the laptop too so it's subject to knock over or anything? Sometimes you got to have common sense when you're just working in business as well. I mean, and this is how you just been in the game. This is being in the game right here. It, it, the, the top is on. I mean, stop, stop riding the bench. Just stop riding the bench. A lot of people who talk to you about your um, dreams and kill your dreams, but not a lot of people is willing to run with you and to actually chase them. So you got to run with the people that's going to actually let you chase your dreams. So with that being said, go chase them. Stop riding the bench and get in the game. Make sure you get in the game because if you're not in the game, you know where. You you know you know where at all. You, you're hiding on that bench and saying, "Let coach, let me in, let me in, coach, please, please, I'll do something, I'll do something." I think maybe get in the game, man. Just get in the game.